I'm here at Netroots Nation 2019 in Philadelphia. Uh, it bills itself as the largest gathering of progressives every year. Uh, and I'm here with uh, one of the speakers at this conference. Tanu Yakupitiage is the uh, communications director at 350.org. Thank you for being here, Tanu. Thanks for having me. So it's Netroots. So we're going to be hearing, of course, from a number of candidates. Uh, we're going to be hearing a bit about their platforms, what they say that they will do as president. What are you looking to hear in terms of what folks are going to do on climate change? I mean, we're really looking to hear what their tank climate action plans are you know beyond just um, making promises that the candidates will tackle the climate crisis we really want to see them you know hone in on um, their climate plans like some of the candidates actually have like put out climate plans and so we want to hear more than just promises we want to hear what are you going to do on day one what are you going to do within the first hundred days uh, and we want specific commitments and talk about how that is different from just uh, how a climate justice plan is different from just a climate plan. Uh, talk about how folks can make climate justice a priority in the first hundred days and not just address, you know, emissions. Absolutely. I think that um, the difference basically between climate justice and just a climate first plan is that a climate justice plan really is thinking about communities. It's thinking about people and the planet. And when we think about the radical economic re-envisioning, we also really need to think about that as a social re-envisioning. We need to think about... Um, the ways in which um, you know white supremacy racism you know the immigrant rights movement like how it's all connected to the climate justice movement when we talk about um, transforming our economy the Green New Deal and um, you know making millions of jobs for people in a hundred percent renewable economy we really also need to be thinking about what does that specifically mean for the most vulnerable communities for black and brown communities uh, the communities that are first hit by um, the climate crisis look at the Gulf region right now and so um, um, you know, a climate justice plan it is more than just about emissions. It's really about how do we transform everything. And also for us, you know, at 350 and at 350 Action, um, it's about how do we also really phase out the fossil fuel industry. You know, fossil fuel billionaires, fossil fuel executives, they are at the crux of um, why we are in this crisis in the first place. Um, the Trump administration is very much in, you know, support of the fossil fuel industry and is putting them ahead of any community. And so we really want to see uh, the candidates really address like how they will be phasing out fossil fuels. And lastly, what's a tangible way that a candidate could do that? Like what's uh, an example of a day one policy initiative or, or piece of legislation that a, a candidate could take on? So we've been asking for all candidates to sign the no new fossil fuel pledge. Um, m most of the candidates have, but beyond just signing a pledge, we want to see them really take fossil fuels out of politics. Stop taking money from the fossil fuel industry and start really phasing, like getting rid of like fossil fuel executives who are in the administration themselves. We really need to see a really direct separation between government and politics and the people, the executives who have been making this crisis happen. Uh, like you know, when it comes to Exxon, for example, Exxon knew um, from the 80s that you know um, the the result of burning fossil fuels would create a climate crisis. And so we need for our government and for those who want to be in the highest office in the land to really hold um, the perpetrators of this accountable. Um, we're really looking for accountability here. Thank you so much.